Imagine a smartphone running Linux Mint, the desktop environment millions love, now in your pocket. Clean, fast, private, and completely under your control. What would a Linux Mint phone actually look like, and could it really compete with Android and iOS? Let's explore this bold idea. The Linux Mint phone would be built on the same philosophy that made the desktop version famous. Simplicity, stability, and user freedom. Imagine turning on your phone to find a smooth, familiar, cinnamon-like interface, elegant, minimal, and responsive. No ads, no bloatware, no unnecessary background tracking, just pure open source power. Unlike Android, which is technically based on Linux, but heavily controlled by Google, the Mint phone would be truly independent. You'd have a full Linux kernel, real desktop style, multitasking, and full file system access. Picture being able to plug your phone into a monitor, keyboard, and mouse, and instantly turning it into a desktop PC running Linux Mint. A single device for everything you do. For the user interface, Mint could create a mobile optimized version of Cinnamon or XFCE. It would combine the fluidity of touch gestures with the precision of desktop controls. You'd still get your classic taskbar, customizable themes, on workspaces but reimagined for mobile. Switching between apps would be as smooth as swiping between workspaces on your desktop. Now, what about apps? This is one of the biggest challenges for any Linux phone. The Mint team could solve it by combining multiple app ecosystems. Traditional Linux apps could run via containerization, while Android apps could be supported using compatibility layers like Wadroid. This means you could install your favorite apps from Fdroid, Aurora Store, or even use PWAs for modern web apps. Privacy would be a major selling point. The Mint phone could come with no trackers, no telemetry, and complete control over your data. You'd have detailed permission management deciding what each app can access, when, and for how long. Imagine a phone where Privacy Moji ISNT a feature that S the default security would be equally strong. Being open source means vulnerabilities are quickly found and fixed by the community. Built-in sandboxing and frequent updates would make the Mint Phone one of the safest mobile OS options available. And since everything's transparent, users and developers alike could verify exactly what's running on their device. Performance-wise, Linux Mint is already known for running smoothly on older hardware. And that efficiency would translate beautifully to mobile. The OS could deliver fast, responsive performance without requiring massive resources. Combined with lightweight apps and low background activity, it could offer exceptional battery life compared to bloated commercial systems. Now, imagine the app ecosystem. Open source alternatives for everything. LibreOffice for productivity, GIMP for image editing, Firefox or Brave for browsing, Thunderbird for email, and even Steam for gaming via Linux compatibility. Developers could port desktop apps with minimal changes, meaning the Mint phone could offer real desktop power in your hand. For Hogjware, the ideal Mint phone could come into variants, a flagship and a budget model. The flagship could feature an ARM-based processor with 8GB RAM and a mold display and a sturdy, repairable design. The budget version could run on mid-seer specs, but still provide the same clean software experience. Both would focus on modularity and repairability, encouraging long-term use and sustainability. Community is the soul of Linux Mint, and that would extend beautifully to its phone ecosystem. Users could share themes, UI tweaks, and system modifications, much like Linux distributions today. The community could even develop their own custom Mint flavors for mobile, optimized for gaming, security, or performance. Now let's talk about integration. A Mint phone would fit seamlessly into the Linux ecosystem. File sharing via KDE Connect, syncing notes through Next, managing devices through open source software, everything would just work without cloud lock. It could connect perfectly with Mint desktops, allowing you to copy, text, sync notifications, and even control your PC remotely. Another huge advantage would be longevity. Unlike Android phones that stop receiving updates after a few years, the Mint phone could stay updated indefinitely. The open source community would maintain it far beyond typical manufacturer support cycles, giving users true ownership of their devices. But could a Mint phone actually succeed in today's market? It would face stiff competition from Android and iOS, no doubt. App availability, marketing power, and ecosystem dominance are major hurdles. However, the timing might be perfect. As users grow more concerned about privacy, data ownership, and software freedom, an open source alternative with the Mint brand could attract a strong following. 
Imagine a world where you buy a phone and never have to worry about spyware forced updates or data collection, where you can customize everything from the boot logo to the app launcher because it S your device, not the manufacturers. That's the vision behind the Linux Mint phone, freedom in your pocket. Over time, this could even inspire a new generation of open hardware manufacturers to embrace Linux first design. If supported by the community and partnered with ethical tech brands, the Mint phone could set a new standard for mobile computing, one that respects the user. In short, a Linux Mint phone wouldn't just be another smartphone. It would be a symbol of what technology should be, simple, transparent, secure, and entirely yours. If Linux Mint ever steps into the mobile world, it could mark the beginning of a new era where open source finally breaks free from the desktop and finds its home in our hands. So uh, what do you think? Would you switch to a Linux Mint phone if it existed? Share your thoughts in the comments because the future of open source might just fit in your pocket. And if you enjoyed exploring this concept, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time as we imagine more tech that could change everything.